down. Hello ladies bleh, bleh, bleh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide back again once again. Today we're gonna be hopping in dude to Crucible. Blade. We're gonna be talking about Beyond Light, all the new exotics and stuff like that. Um, all the gear that they kind of been showing in the trailers and everything, how I feel about stasis, how I feel about PvP, how I feel about everything going forward. We're gonna be using this guy. I haven't played with him that much and um I wanted to make a video on apostate. So hopefully there were a bunch of clips at the beginning of this video. Um that make me look cool and good at the game and uh we'll we'll go from there my air conditioner just turned on so it is what it is but um you know since we're, we're right here we're, we'll wait a few seconds you know to get into the game blah 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 i have a few minutes to talk about how i feel about everything so right now what i want you to do is go into the comments right now and write how you feel about Beyond Light, the exotics, all the PvP related stuff, how you think it's gonna turn out before I give my opinion. And then go ahead and watch the video and then let me know if you agree with me in the comments as well. Also, please, please, please like the video. Please, because you like me, because YouTube has been absolutely me recently with, uh, you know, getting stuff pushed out to people and subs and all that good stuff and you guys know how yeah if you want to show me love i would greatly appreciate it so without further ado let's start talking so beyond light trailer showed all the exotics you know armor weapons things like that we saw the trailer everything came out that guy is a gross looking rabbit and uh you know, paired with stasis and how all this stuff looks like it's going to turn out in PvP, I'm still extremely worried with how fun PvP will be. Crucible. I think that either it's not going to be that big of a deal with stasis because, you know, Bungie is like, yeah, I think freezing people, you know, for, you know, the entire match is gonna be like not fun you know like they they get that so it's gonna be like um not super overpowered but you also gotta think people are gonna be using the stasis subclass for like forever because it's new people are gonna want to try it out and stuff um it's it's gonna be a mainstay for a long time i feel like you know you're gonna be getting frozen a bunch i feel like and Bungie's probably like, yeah, maybe that's not the... Gr oh, man, I'm terrible. I should have uh, warmed up. That's not the greatest thing that could happen, you know, for our game. We don't really want people to to feel like they're being taken out of the action all the time. But I just feel like being frozen in a, a game that's, like, not a MOBA or anything. Like, this is a first-person shooter, even though, you know, a lot of the shooting has been kind of taken out recently you know with abilities and stuff like that i keep saying you know a lot i don't know why i feel like i never do that but it's just it's kind of scary you know you don't know what's gonna happen all the exotics look pretty ridiculous i am excited to use the titan gauntlets that give you an overshield because barricade meh i don't really care you guys know i all right, look, bro, I really was just trying to shoot at that guy. What the heck? Oh, oh, got him, coach. Flinch sucks. Uh, because I want an overshield, but, like, if everybody else is doing that, that's not fun. You know, how do they balance that? The other thing I'm really excited for is the, um, I'm just gonna body him, is the Warlock Gauntlets that, you know, cause thorn-esque poison i've been waiting for so long for something like that 
but that's exciting you know it looks those exotics look fun and good and but they're also kind of quirky you know you gotta do specific things to get their uh their effects there are no neutral game exotics i feel like anymore which kind of sucks as well i feel like people are still gonna kind of default to the movement exotics just because they're so good but hopefully maybe it uh it changes some stuff up maybe we'll see maybe that's how I don't know what that kid's doing. Maybe that's how they're um, gonna bounce. I suck, oh my god. Pain, I suck. I'm not gonna use this, I'm gonna put on the cold denial. See how we do. You know, article about how they want the game to be bombastic fun, and um, you know, how they got rid of skill-based matchmaking because of that and stuff, and how the game is gonna be like chaotic and stuff, and like, I don't know. I like, I like Destiny being fun and stuff, but like, at some point, I feel like it becomes too chaotic and too ridiculous and too crazy and everything's too overpowered for it to actually be fun to play because something that I always go back to is when everybody's super, nobody's super, and it's kind of like, ugh, why would I want to do that? Why do I want to get frozen, you know, hundreds of times a match or mountaintop, you know, these things that... You know, people complain about all the time. I just feel like it's gonna kind of come to a head. Oh, okay. I didn't even, I didn't even kill anybody with my thing. Oh my God. Anything is gonna change Bungie's mind? I don't think that they are looking to make a super competitive game anyways. And I don't think that that's something that Destiny should be. But I, I've seen people arguing about you know, just have no balancing, you know, make it ridiculous, crazy, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a party game. And while I do agree that this game is pretty much a first-person shooter party game at this point, I think that party games still have balance involved in them. Somebody on Twitter said, look at Among Us, man. It's got no balancing. But that's because the game inherently has nothing to balance. It's already been balanced. Everybody has like the same base movement speed and you know, there's no powers or anything. The only thing that you, there's a variable in is the people playing and you cannot, you can't balance people other than skill-based matchmaking stuff. But you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing to really do in terms of balance in that game. I'm talking a lot, I'm gonna take a second. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Pain and suffering. Pain and suffering. All that being said, I'm semi excited because I am a Destiny player and I can't help but not be excited, especially when we get new stuff. So, all you can do is just hope and pray that it's not insane. As, or as bad as it could be, maybe. I do think that Titans are gonna be pretty amazing and Beyond Light, all the, they get basically Striker 2.0 with their their new subclass, which I would have loved to have seen something a little bit different, but I guess, you know, Titan Punch, Titan Smash, I'm big boy Titan, whatever. I will play Warlock. I'm interested to see the Warlock stuff, and you know, like if I can spec into having some crazy, who are you shooting at? Some crazy, you know build with it where i'm constantly like freezing people and stuff you know maybe i'll be a bad boy maybe i'll just try to ruin other people's um you know crucible experience honestly something that i would love to see from bungie is a game mode that has like no supers and reduced ability timing stuff so you don't just spam abilities all the time i think that that would be a lot of fun if they considered that the competitive playlist because i would play that a bunch especially you know like just to to have something that's completely different than the destiny that i normally play it, it keeps it fresh and stuff i think that that's something that a lot of games use in terms of keeping the player base around and giving them holy crap new things to do um i'm gonna die here 
numbers, like a lot of games will Excellent. that are competitive will lean into having a crazy event where everything's like overpowered or your team deathmatch games and and MOBAs are you know completely different. Um, I suck, bro. One but I would love to see that. I I, I would really enjoy you know a a toned down destiny and i think that that might be something that would appeal to a lot of people especially those who consider themselves like hardcore pvp players it would be a different environment you you wouldn't rely so much on um your abilities and supers and cooldown stuff all the time which i think would be unique i think that would be something again that would make destiny feel feel good give me more people ah oh, shit here we go again you know to, to kind of wrap up while we play uh, the game in the background like i said i'm i'm excited i'm so incredibly worried you know because i play destiny because i want to play destiny because i want to have fun i want the game to have that same feeling as Destiny 1 did. And even, I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy D2, the launch. I think that it had a system in place that would have been a lot of fun if, um, you know, Bungie would have kept with it. I think, honestly, now, if we would have 4v4 right now, you know, with kind of like objective game modes and stuff with how cooldowns and everything act in the game i really do think that nice. destiny 2 4v4 Don't if it had this sandbox power. would uh, be fantastic honestly but we'll never get that I, I don't think that 4v4 i know there's like a countdown playlist that they have but that, i don't think that's a priority literally at all so i don't think we're ever going to see any love in terms of that but I, I, I loved PvP. I want to love PvP. I want the game to be fun. I want everybody to, to, you know, be able to enjoy the destiny they want. I don't want to be selfish either, but I just feel like there's a lot of alienating going on right now in the community. Um, I don't know how I hit that dude, but I could have killed him. Pain. I just feel like everybody's so mad all the time and they just constantly try to cause drama and try to like my opinion over that opinion your opinion's wrong i hate you oh my god that guy is just holding down the trigger so it we need to do better i i've really given up on trying to argue points and things like that because i feel like Everybody has such a different view of what makes Destiny Destiny and what makes Destiny good that it's never gonna it's never gonna be what I want Destiny to be. Um, I don't think it'll ever come back to what I enjoyed, and that is the gunplay. I think that that's really taken a back seat recently with uh, the direction of the game. That's fine. I, I get that you want to feel super space magic-y and all that other stuff. You know, it's kind of what Destiny is. It's a, an ability game at this point. But, man, I still think that Destiny has some of the best gunplay in, in any game. Pain! Which is sad, because I don't want to see it just not be a major part of the game anymore. It is what it is. Let me know in the comments right now how you guys are feeling, again, about Beyond Light. If you guys are still watching the video, please comment down below. Hollow Tide. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, that guy's worse than I am. Oh, my God. Hollow Tide is bad at Warlock. Um, I would appreciate that. That would make me feel good. <laughs> I'm better than him. Pain. Also, let me know what uh, subclass you guys are looking uh, forward to the most with Stasis, if it's Hunter, Titan, or Warlock. I would say I'm most intrigued by Warlock and then Titan. Uh, I feel like I'm definitely going to play a, a bit of Titan in, like, PvP, you know? Because I feel like... Oh. oh my god, I'm terrible. I feel like it's going to be super strong. And then, like I said before, I, if you can get Titan to do... Why would you do that to me? 
Also, if you're watching this video, I'm probably in Cancun right now. So, uh, it's pretty litty. Not Cancun. What the hell am I saying? That's not where I'm going on my wedding thing, whatever it's called, honeymoon. I'm going to be in Cabo in Mexico. So, go ahead and wish me an amazing time. You know, six, seven years, six years, five years, I don't even know. Long, long time that uh, I've been on YouTube, and this isn't even my first channel. But I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been who's been here. Please don't shoot me. And uh, I love you guys. You guys make me happy, so just know that I appreciate you. And that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.